We're just going to go ahead and get right into it. What's going on, everybody? What is going on? Welcome to another rendition, second to last possibly, uh, rendition of the No Key Podcast. I am your man, Spaces. I'm uh, flying solo today. Jay every day and Maul, they, they're busy today. It's no problem. Much love, much love, much love to those guys. So let's, I'll get you guys started off with what's going on. Because you know how we normally do. We normally start off with the uh, the pre-conversation and then do the intro and then talk about our week. But we're just going to get straight into it. Um, pro- might not be in front of you guys for too long today. Uh, depends on how the conversation goes and how much information we put into into the conversation and you know the interaction from the chat and everything. So I was thinking that... I, there was some stuff that I've been not necessarily going through, but just some stuff that's been going on that I hadn't been talking about. And it was, uh, be humble, do some callings. What's up? What's up? Welcome. Be humble. It's been a minute. What's going on? Um, uh, Merry Christmas to you and yours. You know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully you get to see family and get to have some time for rest. But yeah, people can call in if you have my if you have my phone number, you can uh, give me a, you can call in J every day and mall might be uh, J every day and mall might call in at some point. But uh, Will said Merry Christmas to the Noki podcast. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas to you as well. Good, sir. So so things that have been going on with me that I haven't talked about. So week before last, yes, Saturday. So not yesterday, but the Saturday before that. Uh, My cousin. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me make sure I got this right. Y'all make sure I got this right. Will upgraded us. Here we go. Here we go. All All right. So, uh, Saturday before last, Saturday before yesterday, my cousin graduated college. My cousin, he's, he's, he's actually, um, he got his, I don't know what happened guys. (laughs) Maybe uh, maybe I I hit the end stream button. My apologies. My apologies, guys. So uh, I don't know where I left off. I don't know where I cut off. Uh, I just I was just talking and I looked up. It might have been only a few seconds. But I was saying that my cousin graduated college. He graduated college with a master's degree. <laughs> graduated college with a master's degree in social work. <laughs> big big congrats to my cousin, big congrats to my cousin. I was glad I'm I'm glad I'm glad he, uh, you know, is, is is seeing his goals through. You know what I mean? He, he's uh, he's definitely moving up. He told me that he was, uh, he's been keeping me up to date on how things have been working for him. And with the current climate of today, and when it comes to schooling, a lot of schooling, a lot of a lot of courses that are being offered, a lot of courses that are being offered aren't conducive to society today. Society today is, is really leaning towards electronics even more now than ever. Uh, It's leaning towards artificial intelligence. We don't, that, that in itself is a rabbit hole. 
Hence the fact that people's jobs are being taken by the very things that we advocated for. And a lot of times because we talk about we want everything to be convenient. We want everything to be convenient. Like take, for instance, when we used to roll down the window. There's a generation of people even before the current generation, let's just say. I'll even say 50 year olds, right? That when they were our ages, 20s and 30s, their cars had to crank the window down, right? And I don't even know what it was like before before they cranked the window down. Maybe they pushed it down. Maybe they had they didn't have anything, any way to open it. Maybe they had to open the door to get ventilation. Who knows? But whatever it was before when cars first started to 20 years ago, maybe yeah, about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, could be wrong, probably I probably am. To now, right? It went from whatever it was before to cranking the windows down, to pushing a button to roll it down, and now it's the point where and I'm shoot, I, I might I might even be outdated with saying this. You can push the button and it just rolls down itself. It's, it's only getting even more and more and more convenient. You know what I mean? And, and people don't realize that the more convenient things are, a lot of times it inconveniences another aspect of life, right? So with, with okay, perfect example, car parts. We all can relate to that, right? We all have cars. We all have had to get cars fixed or have had some sort of information whatsoever connected to um, having to deal with the car, right? Somebody complained about something or we hear something about cars malfunctioning or getting recalled on the news, whatever the case, right? Well, in previous years, cars had so many parts that made it what that made it possible for how many ever people to have jobs. The assembly lines, right? Assembly lines put there was a X amount of people putting cars together, putting pieces and parts of cars together. Now If you can, if you can just hit hit YouTube and say automated machines putting cars together, I don't even know what the, the the exact verbiage would be, but machines putting cars together. One machine, one machine, and it might cost the 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 the, the company millions of dollars, billions of dollars, whatever the case, hundreds of thousands, depending on the size of the company, but. That one machine is doing the job of two, three, four, five, six people. That one machine is doing the job of two, three, four, five, six people. And if the company is paying, if the company is paying each into each individual person, let's just say it's six people, right? That company is paying each of those people, $60,000 a year, $70,000 a year, $80,000 a year. In one year, if it's eight people, I'm sorry, six people getting paid eight, 80000 a year, that's $480,000 saved in one year. So save that much money and buy one machine that's more efficient, that we don't have to worry about calling off, that we don't necessarily have to worry about training, that won't have sick days. Thanks, be humble. Why not? People want convenience, right? People wanted to pump it up, pump it, uh, pump out whatever product more, more, more music, more cars, more food. More jewelry, more perfumes, more colognes, 
pump out faster, pump it out faster, 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 faster. Well, there is too much of a possibility of human error in that. And companies are getting wise on it. Companies are getting wise on it. Hence the fact that I've used the example before on this podcast. Walmart. Jewel. Do we even need to go into it? Be Humble said, don't forget to add medical and life insurance to the salary. Oh, psh. Be Humble said, people want more pay, which doesn't help. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm glad you got to say that because we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that for sure. Good, sir. So I'm just saying that in, in society today, with it, with it being becoming more and more and more and more inclined to be a electronic based, convenience based, artificial intelligence based society, there are some aspects of education that aren't being nullified by the advancement of technology. And I don't want to butcher exactly what it is that he does, but if I'm not mistaken, he works with like the men mentally challenged. He works with special people, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know how necessarily it ties into social work. I haven't been able to, I haven't gotten around to really get into a full on conversation with him about it. But I just want to say congratulations, man, because getting a master's degree and I think he said he's going to, he, he might in, in, in a little while afterwards, he's going to get, uh, go, go to the next level. I don't know exactly what it is that he wants to get. I don't know if there is a such thing as a doctorate in, in uh, social work. I don't see why not, but in this day and age, just say the R word, be humble. You try to get me. <laughs> no, be humble. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what his exact plans are, but I know that he is. He, we, we did have a conversation about him saying he's going to run up the check up, run up the check at the job that he's at now. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. So big congratulations to my cousin. Big congratulations to him. Another thing that's been going on with me is listen. Listen. Speaking of vehicles. Nah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. So let's go ahead and get into the topics, man. Let's go ahead and get inside. Be humble. Before we go, how you been doing, man? How's how's life? I don't know anything about I don't know if you're in a relationship or anything. How's it? How's how's life? How's life been treating you? Uh, what, are you what are you doing? Actually, answer this. What are you doing for Christmas? Are you working? Getting some overtime? Listen, speaking of speaking of working on Christmas, man. Speaking of working on Christmas. I was at this place, right? And the I asked one of the workers there. I was I'm j just curious, like just talking about holiday pay, right? Be humble said I'm great and chilling. That's wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Listen, be humble. I have to ask you. I have to ask you. If you had the option of having a full week off, right? A full a free full week off. Or coming in on well, you'll have Christmas Day off or the holiday, whatever the holiday is. You'll have that holiday off on Monday, but for the rest of the week, you're getting not double. I'm looking you straight in your eye through the camera, be humble. Not double time. 
but triple time. Do you hear what I said? <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Be humble. Triple time, man. Triple time. So, yeah, man. It's uh, I I almost don't even need to. I I want to I want to hear Maul's response to that question. <laughs> he said, <laughs> I want to hear Maul's response to that question. He said, "Come on, that's too easy, right?" Right, man. Right. So, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I need, I need, I need confirmation. You said, "Come on, that's too easy." In what direction, though? In what direction is it too easy? Because I, I, I hope you're not going to give me the wrong answer. He said, "I'm not big on holidays," so. <laughs> Yeah, man. I was just thinking, what? Triple time. Triple time. Triple time? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, okay. You gave the right answer. You gave the right answer. Money. You right. Listen, if there's ever a time that I would live at work, if it were possible, if there's ever a time I would live at Triple time? Man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Without further ado, without further ado, be humble. I won't keep you holding, man. Just got to send out a couple text messages. But let's get into the subject, man. Now, one of the things, there's been a lot of stuff going on in society, man, recently. A lot of stuff going on in the news. This has always been a lot of stuff, and I, I notice I say that a lot, but it's, there's been a lot of shaking my head type of stuff that's been going on in the media. So let's start here. Be humble. Have you heard about this Taraji P. P. Henson situation? Have you heard about it, man? Because I, I, I'm, I, I, if you have, I would like to know your opinion about it. But in the meantime, let's see. Let's 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 let you hear this, man. Let's let you hear this. You know, so I understand the power of art, right? Let's talk about Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. You said what situation? So let me explain it to you real quick. From this is and this is my understanding of it. Essentially, what's going on is <clears throat> Taraji P. Henson is talking about not acting anymore and, and retiring. If I'm not mistaken, this is my understanding of it. So Taraji P. Henson is talking about retiring from acting because her uh, she doesn't make essentially she doesn't make the amount of money that she thinks she deserves. WNBA much. So I'm just one. I'm just curious to know. Oh yeah. So you. So you heard. Yeah. So what's your what's your opinion of it? And um, I wonder if you've seen this video or heard her speak about it, or if you even care. <laughs> so let's check it out. All right. About this latest powerful performance, Suge Avery. There's a new element to this show. For those of us who've been fortunate enough to see this version of the Hollywood Bowl, we have met. You know what? Let's skip this. I don't want her to talk about the movie. She was in the movie, but she couldn't. You know, she was, um, I think she was starred. She was rehearsing Henson. No, no, it wasn't Henson. It was uh, uh, Piano Lessons. She was rehearsing Piano Lessons, but I don't have a lot of scenes with her because she would leave town. And I remember when we pushed, when we pushed the button, and then we went out. Can I tell Can I fly? I fight the good fight. I'm telling you, there's times when I went to walk away. Here we go. And what gave you the fire to go? to be an actor my career. Um, 
No, I didn't. No, you're right. Um, I didn't move out here until I was 26. And people told me, oh, if you don't make it by 25, you're just not going to make it. I said, well, bitch, I'm just moving out here 26. <laughs> so if that's true, I might as well go back home. You didn't want to mention that at 19? Like, yeah, okay. So, you know, but, <laughs> you know, people do that because they ain't But um, I had a kid, and, and my son in my junior year. And, you know, that changes everything. Because now I'm not just living with me. I have to get serious about life now. And so I was saying, yeah, I want to be an actress, and I want to be a little like Howard, like Sorry, you know, I'm going to be a little like But, um... Once I had him, it was serious go time. So I'll never forget when he saw me. I could just tell my face. I called the Parker and the Anderson, uh, uh, Marlon Wayans, all who were in the Howard at the same time. Marlon left because you know his brothers they started writing the Wayans for him. Um, Paula, I went to the theater to see Tales of the Hood because I didn't know she was in it. And I sit here and she comes up on the screen. I go, I passed her in the hallway yesterday. Like eight minutes. That's why I'm glad I'm not a famous person. That's why I told you guys why I fight the good fight. I'm telling you guys the times where I went to walk away. There we go. Okay, so make sure let's do this. So, be humble says short answer. I think she got back representation or bad representation. And you said Terrence Howard saying the same thing. So here's here's okay. Here's one aspect of it. Oh, sorry, can't see me. Hold on. There we go. So you said bad representation. Okay, elaborate on that one, if you don't mind. And Terrence Howard was saying the same thing. So I want to go on that, on that part first, right? So the only information I really know about Terrence Howard in this situation with uh, having anything to do with pay is that's why he walked away from the, the war machine role in Iron Man. He wasn't getting paid. He wasn't um, getting paid what he thinks he should have gotten paid. So I bring this question to you guys, you viewers. J every day in the chat, what's going on, my guy? He said, Space Invader <laughs> holding you down. <laughs> uh, B Humble said, bad representation. Got you. And J every day said, net worth $12 million. So, uh, Therese B. Henson, you know what? Let's, let's look at it with the people. Let's look at it with the people. All right, let's see. So this is according to, this is just a quick Googles, right? This is quick Googles. I, how can we really know, again, how can we really know if this information is true or not? Or did this information get updated because of the situation that just happened with Taraji in particular, right? So this says, according to Finura.com, she, it says, I hear people go, you work a lot. Well, I have to. The actress who has a career spanning, and I'll show you guys. The actress who has a career spanning more than two decades, the math ain't mathin, Henson, whose net worth is an estimated $25 million, said. Estimated $25 million. Hmm. Let's go to Celebrity Net Worth, which, oh, see, now Celebrity Net Worth is saying $12 million. I I don't know who that is up at the top, but is this twelve million? September eleventh, nineteen seventy, female five four accident. Yeah, Taraji since Taraji's worth twelve million. So, which do we believe? Do we believe the one that is going to be the higher amount to to prove our our case because we're pro Taraji, or do we say twelve million because? That to me seems like a more reasonable number in comparison. Be humble said he said on Empire he didn't get paid. Be humble said net worth isn't actual what's in the bank. Napson Beauty, what is up? What is up? I was hoping you were gonna come through. I'm glad you were here, Napson Beauty, because last time we were right, we were here. Last time on the live stream. <laughs> um, now, some beauty says, Monique was saying the same thing years ago, though. Uh, Jay Everyday said, I know that much, but I can be t 
<laughs> what? Beyond said, go with the lower. I agree with you. Go with the lower number. I agree. I agree. Because here's the thing. So she said she, we haven't gotten to the video. We haven't gotten to that point in the video yet. But with uh, what I was saying with Terrence Howard, by and large, we don't hear, at least I don't hear. I'm, I, I'll speak for myself. I don't hear many guys saying, make, making a big deal out of pay discrepancies. It's like for guys from what I see, when they complain about it, they say, this is what you're paying me. This is what I think I should get paid. Then maybe we can negotiate and figure out some middle grounds. If it doesn't work, then I'll walk away or I'll stay and take it and, and, and just bite the bullet for now. But I don't hear a lot of guys really talking about that. So my question is, and I asked this before, is there a difference between worth, a person's worth, and their value? Is there a difference between a person's worth and their value? Because if you ask me, I'll answer the question first. I think yes. I think yes. Because I'm thinking of, from a standpoint of, if I'm a production, a media production company of some sort, let's just say a movie company. Now, I'm not. I'm a little. I guess you could say ignorant in the in the step by step process on getting getting the actor paid and negotiating contracts and figuring out all that stuff. But my question is, uh, if if I'm a recruiter, whatever, I have a role that I've de- I, that I've written out, and you apply for the role that I've created. You can think that you did a good job as much as you want to. You can think you did a spectacular job. But if I, as the recruiter or the the casting, whatever, whatever the title is, if I'm the person that's over the casting, if I'm one of the people that's watching you audition, and I don't think that you're bringing value, you would, as a person and what you did would bring value to my production, then whatever you think you worth is worthless. I think your worth is really, okay. I think an individual's worth or their, whatever they bring to the, whatever they think they bring to the table. Okay. You, if I, if I'm a recording company and you sing, you can be, you can think that you're the greatest singer alive, but if I don't think you're the greatest singer alive, or I don't think you can bring value to my company, then how much how much value are you bringing to me? So I say that to relate it to, to the Taraji P. Henson situation. Listen. Listen. Constituents of the No Key Podcast, you're listening to me? I'll say this, and I'll stand on it. Most of Taraji P. Henson's roles have been different variations of Cookie. Who is going to put somebody who say that I'll stand on it? If 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 I can't get you, I can't see you outside of the role. I can't see Taraji P. Henson outside of the role of Cookie. Think about her and Hustle and Flow. Broke cookie. She had no money. Just a, in, in that movie, Baby Factory, until she started singing. Then you have her in, matter of fact, you know what? Hold up. You know what? Let's, 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 let's do it this way because I pulled it up. Let's do it this way. Let's go back up. I'm, I'm missing out on the chat. I'm, st- I'm just talking. 
So J. Every Day said, who's the black Julia Roberts, Meryl Streep? I keep dropping my phone. Who's the black Julia Roberts, Meryl Streep? I'll give you this. The first person that comes to mind that is noteworthy to me, and this is just, this literally is just my opinion, Viola Davis. I think Viola Davis has, has what? And don't get me wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. Taraji P. Henson has had the, the uh, okay, I'm going to say one noteworthy performance that I was really moved by. And it was one of what, what I call a movie that I called, uh, what, what was it? What was it? We ranked like the top 25 best black movies or something like that. A super earlier episode. You have to go back on, on Audible or Spotify, Audible, uh, uh, Spotify or Apple podcast to and, and find that episode. But one of my, one of the, one of the movies that Taraji P. Henson started in that I thought was a great black movie was Hidden Figures. I think Taraji P. Henson did a magnificent job in that. I didn't see Cookie in Hidden Figures. She killed that role to me. But um, <clears throat> uh, Be Humble said, when guys get raw deals, we just walk away normally and keep it to ourselves. Hey, listen, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you at all. J. Every Day said, what movies are they headlining? Exactly, bro. Exactly. That's my, that that is, that, that was a point that I was going to make later down the line. What movies has she headlined outside of Hidden Figures? And I think it was one, I forget what, I forget what the name of it was. But here we go, here we go. Let's, let's, let's look through this list together. Let me pull it up for you guys. And you tell me which one of these she really actually did a great job in. And you didn't. I'll put a caveat in it. And you did not see Cookie. <laughs> and you did not see Cookie in that role. You ready? All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right. We're looking at her acting history on IMDb. Color Purple, oops, Color Purple, Suge Avery. I haven't seen it, but judging from Suge Avery in the previous movie, significant role, I'll give you that. Paw Patrol, never seen it. Probably will never see it. Queenie, never heard of that. TV series, music video. Abbott, Ele okay, so Abbott Elementary, she's only in one episode, so we can't really, that she's not really, the star of the show. She's not even a co-star. She kind of made an appearance. Abbott Elementary is a great show. It's hilarious. You should check it out. Never seen Minions. Any Live. Muppets Hunt Haunted Mansion. Okay, Empire is Cookie. So we we we're all pretty much fairly aware of that. Coffee and Cream got a five point two. Never heard of Tuka and Bert. See, not and I'm not saying that. By the way, let me let me let me let me specify this. I don't want you guys to think that because I haven't seen it, that doesn't mean that it's not a good movie or that's not a good show. Or or that doesn't mean that she didn't do a good job. I'm not denying that. When she does do movies, she holds her own. I'll give you that. When she's in, uh, I haven't seen her in a series that I recall. But when I do see her in movies, she holds her own. Definitely. I've never seen her hold a major spot. I never seen her hold a, 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 a pro protagonist spot by herself without a supporting actor. Oh, let me let me make sure I focus on the chat. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, <clears throat> Be humble, said J. Every day. At one time, most movies lowest payment was actually sixty five k. Bro, look at look at man. Cultivate Your Roots. Good afternoon, Spaces. What is up, Cultivate Your Roots? I'm glad to have you here. And happy Merry Christmas Eve to you. Uh, J. Every Day said, hold on. Uh, I lost my spot. Oh, y'all talking in the chat. Let's go. Uh, Be Humble said, like Captain Phillip, uh, the Ethiopian got 65K. 
message every day. Drake's greatest line was, you knew what it was when you signed up. <laughs> And that's what I'll that's the point I'm trying to drive home, right? What is your what is your what do you worth versus value? You know your worth, but can you translate what you view as your worth into value for me? Whew, that's a bar. Where am I all at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me Let me say that again. You know your worth, but can you translate what you view as your worth into value for me? <laughs> Sheesh, space is dropping bars in the in the in the live stream today. But Nelson Beauty said, "Agree. There is a difference between the two. It's all about negotiation power. You get what you negotiate. You're absolutely right." Naps and beauty. So, uh, Jay Day said, bingo. Uh, Be Humble said, I agree. That's why she had bad representation. She appeals to black audiences only, and that's not a diss. Bro, that is a great fact, bro. <laughs> that is a great fact. She appeals to black audiences, and this, this, that's not shade. You know what I mean? That's not a slight. It's true. Like, I'm trying to think. I can't think of a role that I've seen somebody else do that appeals to the masses that Taraji P. Henson. Perfect example. All right, check this out. Can you see, and, and this is a primarily black audience oriented actress as well, but can you see Taraji P. Henson replacing Gabrielle Union and, and Bad Boys 2? The Bad Boys 2, that appealed itself appealed to the masses. Everybody was going to watch Bad Boys 2. Can you see Taraji P. Henson replacing Gabrielle Union? Uh, Be Humble said, unfortunately, she films with Tyler Perry. Don't even get me started. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> um uh, Naps and Beauty, Jerry Day said, yep, Naps and Beauty said, I think she thought she was going to cash out on this new color purple flick. Oprah changed the number so quick. <laughs> uh, Jerry Day said, that was still catering to a black audience. What, um, um, Bad Boys? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah I can, uh, definitely the first one. Definitely the first one. Um, <clears throat> So we got uh, Nasty Beauty said, J Everyday Facts. Benjamin Button. I seen Benjamin Button once. And she was a, okay. Let me not speak on it too much. But I know that that was about, that. Uh, Brad Pitt was a star of that movie. And then Taraji P. Henson, I don't know what her role was exactly. Cause I watched it so long ago, and I don't even think I was paying attention when I watched it. But let's get back to it. Hold on. Let's look at let's look at this. Uh, Cause I mean, I'm it's like a handful of things that that she really that she really stuck out in. So, what men want, I don't know what that is. Ralph breaks the internet. That's a that's a cartoon movie. Proud Mary of Looks Could Kill. That's five point nine. Acro okay, listen. She was acrimony. Acrimony. Was it the story? I'm going to say it was the story of acrimony and, and the plot twists in acrimony that made this, this particular movie stick out. It wasn't necessarily her acting. And again, cookie that has a job, they got to work. <laughs> Cookie that has <laughs> acrimony was cookie <laughs> that had to work two jobs for 20 years. <laughs> oh, sheesh. All right. So proud Mary 5.0, the Simpsons. I mean, these, 
How many of these are lead roles? I see. She, I mean, I guess she gets lead roles with Tyler Perry. But, I mean, all right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Let's switch. Let's let's go back to the let's go back to the video. Big Maul in the chat. What's up, player? What's up? He said bye. <laughs> What's good, player? Uh, let me pull it back up for you guys. Here we go. It is like mad, and I'm just not wired like that. I, mad is not just. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it was time to really make a decision. You know, I was like, I have to graduate, so I switched back to drama, carry my baby across the stage because a lot of people think you come out to LA. Um, Twenty six. Um, as the, as the legend goes, he was about seven hundred dollars, and I wasn't doing that. But when I got here, I, had, I stayed with her first, and um. <laughs> going over her history yeah. and at the beginning yeah, of this. No I think we're getting into it right here. Ooh. Okay, I don't remember that. Hold on. Let's, let's. Here we go. I trained there. Check out. 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 Every Cultivate your roots. Oh, <laughs> be humble. Say Gabrielle is trash. What? Uh, 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 she ain't. Uh, well, I mean, okay. Even with Gabrielle Union, she has she has her niche. She has she's always acting like the the lady. The that's a uh, okay. Deliver us from evil. She's always acting like the jerk. You know what I'm saying? Be humble. Say she can't act. I, I ain't gonna say she can't act. She's just stuck in her stuck in the in her little vacuum. Let's see. Let's let's get you in. Uh. So uh she can't add cultivate your roots. Hidden figures is definitely a favorite of mine too. Listen, when she listen, cultivate your roots. When she was running that <laughs> when she was Running that mile to go to the back. Was it a mile or whatever? Two miles in those hills in the rain? Then Buddy came and 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 was like, you run how far to go to the bathroom? And then he messed it up and then had her gave her a bathroom or I don't know, it's whatever. But yeah, that she 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 got that role. She got that role. She at least got nominated for that role. Uh that was a Tyler Perry. That was a Tyler Perry movie. It was horrible. It was horrible. Okay. I, what? I don't know. I, I got to get Acrimony was decent. Acrimony was tolerable. And yes, Cultivate Your Roots, Merry Christmas. Angry Black Woman Niche. Be humble. You get it. You get it. Both of them. Angry Black Woman. Taraji and Gabrielle. Let me see what this is. Here we go. When you first read that script and, and, and that, that story started coming to me, I kind of had to do that. I had to do it. Let's see. So once that happened, I was like, oh, wow, I probably do have a very good hand. And her sugar story with Shug, you know, she didn't see herself as a sex worker. She saw herself as a mother. You know, she was doing what she was supposed to do. She was getting back in the car, doing the things that she did in the first place with the young girl she was trying to get back with. Somebody did that to her. And she had never returned. She never even told her story. And when she got in that studio, Oh, she's talking about, yeah, this part. She's talking about um, Hustle and Flow. So I, I wanted to just see her and just want to find the sugar in the world and go get her and, and toy with her and turn that diamond in the rough into a golden nugget. 
Real quick, a scale of one a uh, scale of one to ten. Tell me what um what you would grade her acting in oh why not freeze it like that? <laughs> um what you would give her acting in hustle and flow. Zero out of ten. These are great questions, by the way. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. After who? Where is my After who? Hold up, hold up. Let me let me let me pull y'all back up to on on the screen so y'all can see my face. After who? Why? Why fire everybody after Cookie? She's going to explain it. She's going to explain it, but I, I this is what when I watched this portion of the interview, this is what was the what was going on in my head. Why fire everybody after Cookie? Is it BB is it BB? <laughs> is it because Nobody could see you outside of the role of Cookie after that. Because, listen, I watched the Harry Potter series. I cannot see. I forget my guy's name. I forget my guy's name. Oh, my goodness. The guy that played as Harry Potter. Oh, my goodness. But I can't see him outside of that role. I know I can Google it, but I choose not to right now. I can't see him outside of that role. And that happens when you watch when you when you see somebody doing something for doing doing a particular role doing something for so long, it's you 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 can't see them outside of that. Like I can't see I watch Game of Thrones, I can't see the guy that played as as Joffrey outside of the role of Joffrey. I can't see. Oh my goodness, Khaleesi. Oh, I'm forgetting all these people's names, but I can't see her outside of that role. Amelia Clark, that's her name. I can't see her outside of that role, so it's like let's let let's see let's see what she says. Oops, not that. Ideal. Where's my commercial? Cookie was top of the fashion game. Where is my endorsement? What did you have set up for after this? That's why y'all haven't seen me in so long. They had nothing set up. All they wanted was another cookie show. And I said, I'll do it, but it has to be right. The perfect the people deserve. She's too beloved for y'all to fuck it up. And so when they didn't get it right, I was like, well, that's it. And then they had nothing else. You're all fucking liars. I mean. Is she, I'm sorry, I keep, I keep pausing. But is she looking for validation from the crowd with these little actions that she has? Is she looking for validation from the crowd? Like, Okay, maybe it's just me overreacting. The way she nodded her head, looked at the crowd and nodded her head, like, I know that's right. Uh, uh, Naps and Beauty said, do you believe that one's acting career in the beginning, i.e. role selection, will determine the kind of success for future movies and gigs? No, not necessarily. No, I, I, I believe it definitely can. I believe it definitely can, but I think it's, you think so? Be humble. Be humble said yes. Okay. I don't know if you guys watched the shy. K 
can you see, can you possibly see, listen, this is, this is a spoiler. So if you haven't watched the shy, you might want to skip the next couple seconds, but can you see Kevin in a different role now? We basically watch him, Jake and Papa grow up. Can you see them outside of those roles now? Jake will have to get his hair cut unless he plays new roles that are that are similar to uh, his role in The Shy. Papa, his acting went down, went backwards as the show progressed. Can you see Kevin, since he's not on the show anymore, in a different role? I don't know if I can. Oh, be humble. You have a good point. Be humble said yes for blacks. You have a good point. I mean, I did point out Harry Potter. I can't see him outside of that. I mean, he's from the caucuses, I think. But I think I think it's a, it really is. It, it very well can because that's what Taraji P Henson is saying. After she got role, after she got the role of Cookie, and that was and that was done. There, there was nothing waiting for her. For her team had nothing waiting for her to keep going. And she fired them all. But I mean, has she has she grown? Okay, what'd you say? Let me ask you this, Napson Beauty. Has she grown in her acting or has she been doing anything differently or even in her value from Yvette to Cookie? Has she grown from Yvette to Cookie in her in her dollar value, in her acting skills and all of that, would you say that she's grown? I think, I think I, that's why what you, the reason why you asked that, I'm glad you asked that question because that's why I, when me and Maul and I were going back and forth, that's why I value variety acting so, so much because We talked on the podcast before about what makes an album a classic album. And I think it was at least 50% of the album being songs that are great. At least, no, at least it might've been at least 80% of the item, probably about 80%. So I scaled that back with acting because somebody can have a uh, substantial um, career. Somebody can have a substantial resume of acting. But if let's just say if it's a hundred movies, does it have to be 80%, 80% of that? Does it have to be 80 movies that makes them a great actor? Or can we scale it back to maybe 50, maybe 30%? That's why I like, I, that's why Denzel is such an amazing actor and, and top three of any, top two of anybody's scale. Denzel is, is up there because look at John Q, look at Equalizer, and look at, I forget, I forget his name in Training Day. Those are just the three that came that come to mind off the top of my head. Idris Elba too. Idris Elba. Look at Stringer Bell. And oh my goodness, oh um, Hobbs and Shaw. It was a, that's a spinoff of the Fast and Furious series. He played the bad guy in that, and it was fan. I only watched because I was trying to see how far he can go. I was thoroughly amazed. So I think I think it can be if you don't if you don't make make the proper negotiations to have the proper team behind you, like Be Humble said earlier. But no, it very well can. You can you can definitely get stuck in a particular stereotypical stereotypical role. Now some beauty said the only movie that saved her was Hidden Figures. Ooh! <laughs> Hidden figures saved their career. <laughs> After that, she flipped back into the mad black woman trope. Oh, good observation, Naps and Beauty. Good observation. He was selective with uh, be humble. He was selective with his role as well. Same as Will Smith. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Listen, of the whole category, of the whole career i'll give will smith five to seven big roles and i'm talking about movies not series nothing maybe 
maybe 10. Outside of that, it, I mean, a lot of his characters are the same people. But that, that's just me, though, because I hear a lot of people talking about Will Smith, great actor, great actor. Okay, he's great for his niche. He's great for those emotional-based roles. But outside of that, I mean, I'll give him, and outside of the emotion-based roles, I'll give him Mike Lowry. I wanted to see more Mike Lowry. But I'll, nah. Will, be humble, say, ooh. Uh, be humble said he turned down roles with that that would have, oh, I'm sorry, that would have him show affection with white women. Um, be humble. Will Smith is a horrible actor. Will Smith played uh, he played a gay guy. Yeah, he did anything to make it. But that's that's typically the unfortunately that's typically the barrier the barrier to entry for guys, man. With a with a lot of with a lot of guys. We heard Terry Crews say talk about how stuff happened with him on the Breakfast Club. It's just that's just that's just the way it goes, man. Unfortunately. I'm gonna say this though. Baby, it's very real. You are the prize. Whatever you ever put There we go. Here we go, guys. You are the prize. You are the talent. You are their check. Don't ever forget that. They work for you. And if they're not, somebody else will do it. But I had that for years, and I stayed with the same team for years. And now I don't have a lot of regrets. But I, there's one thing I, but no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that because God, the way he continues, motherfucker, God, See, you see how she's reaching into the crowd, reaching, trying to get reactions from them. <laughs> Oops. You know, keeps blessing Wrong me. button. Um, there's more to come, so I don't have to have regrets. I don't have no regrets. I take that back. I take that back. Everything we go through is a lesson, and you're going to use it, and you have. You continue to use it. I mean, as, as you learn, and you start making different choices, it'd be different if I stay stuck with the same nothing ass. You know what I'm saying? But I had to go through that to learn on my own. No one can tell. Because people tell me, give it a fire, this person, fire this person. So I, I had to find it on my own. That's why it all happened for that reason. You can continue to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Day. <laughs> actually, it's actually a very important follow-up question because it is about the advice of weird switching to us and getting them to gain that additional interest in you. I mean, obviously, in your situation, it's real different. We have all of the materials. <laughs> it's like turn on your TV any day, and we, we know what they're going for. But for folks just starting out, what, what advice would you give them? Well, when I first started out, <clears throat> said, y'all give you, you know, my ex and I went, First thing they sent me out on y'all, I went to Studio Week, and I called back the same day, Studio Network, same day. What you're missing is that I'm trained, so don't expect me, when I walk in the room, I'm going to walk in as me, okay, because I'm going to be me, but I can give you whatever you want on a silver platter, and I've been paid with the right check, make it cash. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk the way you want me to talk, because this is who I am, but if I have to speak that a certain way, present the page, that's what you're going to get, and if you need to alter, like I said, on a silver platter, you see my work, but I'm going to be me, you got to be me. <laughs> You're reading me, and as an actor, but you also are producing. You're a director. Oh my you are, you know, showing the world through that lens as well as you've been doing this for some time on the camera. What have you learned? Um, one about what you do in front of the camera, and also just, you know, how has it allowed you to expand your creativity? I think, as far as uh, I do have a um, script, uh, it's black female coming of age story because when I grew up, all I had was mom and dad. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You guys get the idea. You guys get the idea. I, I was trying to find the part where I, I didn't save the uh, timestamp. But she was basically talking about how she, uh, she almost walked away from Color Purple because the money wasn't right. Unfortunately, I, I can't find it. So um, let's go back in the comments, see what's going on here. Jerry Day said acrimony was good, but she fell into that angry black woman. She even in acrimony, right? Even though doing the math, he gave her 10 times what she spent. And she gave him 10 times in one sitting what she spent on him over 20 years. Come on, man. Napson Beauty said Jamie Foxx. <sighs> they clone Tyrone. Be humble. Napson Beauty Will Smith can play a real person. Excuse me, but he can't act when it comes to playing regular roles. Fairy Cruz, be humble. Fairy Cruz. <laughs> Natasha, hey, Natasha, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, what does spaces do to his friends? Do we need to alert the authorities, y'all? <laughs> no, Jay Everyday is in the chat. Uh, Ma stopped by earlier. Um, 
Thank you for stopping by, Natasha. Always a pleasure to see you. What my say, white folk. I wish I had that. Oh, I wish I had that as a clip. White folk. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, we're all good. King Richard couldn't hold the. I. Mm, I didn't even watch King Richard, but I am reminded of After Earth with him and Jaden, and he was trying to go. Listen, if you can bear it, if you can bear it. Watch 20 minutes of After Earth. If it's free to watch, because don't waste your money on it. If it's free to watch, watch the first 20. Listen to Will Smith try to try to do an accent. Did you not know what you, again, what Jay Everyday said? Did you not know what you were signing up for, sir? In Wild Wild West, everybody around him has accents. Everybody around him has accents, but but he's just talking regular, normal English, American English. Come on, man. Come on, man. See, okay, be humble. You, uh, he said, Naps and Beauties. Yes, he did Ali, Pursuit of Happiness, and did a great job. Listen, I didn't watch Ali because when I heard it was a three-hour movie, I just turned away from it and never went back. I'll probably watch it eventually because I want to have an informed opinion. But Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit. Listen. Pursuit of happiness. Listen. Pursuit of happiness was a great one. He is a monster at at captivating, capturing those um those emotional roles. <laughs> Jerry Day. He's a master at capturing those emotional roles. But outside of that, he he doesn't have much. But anyway, let's let's I wanted you guys to hear this too. I don't know if you guys heard this. Very important in regarding the situation, and we'll wrap this up, move on to the next thing. <sighs> Word salad. Jerry Day said after Earth trash can water. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm turn it up because. One second. That should be decent, right? Not recently raped a woman who died. Very inappropriate. You know, we had raped Kevin Washington too. One of the most trouble going in the hundred thousand records sold over two hundred fifty thousand records sold over the two years she was raped. Still on my radio show all the time. How do you get away with murder? <sighs> I guess I guess to each their own. To each their own. Scandal favor shows of all time. Of all time. Steve hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me. Sorry. Hold on a second. Of all time, Stephen. Fifty six. 56, bro. And, and all the time you're watching TV. Okay. I, I'll leave that there. I'm talking about my bad. I didn't mean to take it down. <clears throat> Some greatest shows of all time. Stop it. 
And don't get me wrong, Scandal was a decent show until they until they romant, romanticized it. But anyway. A bit better? Need a little bit more? Oh, J every day. There's there's an answer to to your question. Who's the 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 uh, Meryl Streep? I think forget whoever you said Angela Robert or whatever. Whoever you said, uh, Angela Bassett is up there definitely. Top top. I don't know top three, top five. Black female actresses. Outside of Wakanda Forever. Because she recently spoke um, as a guest being interviewed by Gail King on Sirius XM. Taraji P. Henson became very, very emotional when asked if there is any truth to reports that she is contemplating breaking up the acting altogether. Listen to what this woman had to say. Now, we can sit up there and go off, and we can say, come on, come on, come on, but I don't want to hear that shit. We're talking about one of the great ones here that was reduced to tea. You know, because My bad. Simple question that made her inflect and contemplate what kind of future was worth having if it was in the acting industry because of what she's experiencing. I can point out that Kiki Palmer and Gabrielle Union both spoke out um, claiming they agreed totally with Taraji and that she ain't tell one single lie about the disparity of pay for black actresses. Disparity in, disparity in pay. In compa- I'm, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. It's 1.5. Slow it down. Disparity in Who is he comparing this to? Who is he comparing this to? I would love to know. Give, give me a little bit of context, Mr. Smith. Okay. And I, for one, can tell you that because black actresses have been telling me that for years. The list goes on and on about the multitude of actresses who have spoken about the disparity in pay. What was Gabrielle Union paid when she was on in Bad Boys 2 with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Bad boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might that might have been loud. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Gabrielle Union and Bad Boys 2. Do me a favor. Do me a favor, y'all. Do me a favor, y'all. Just put a Y in the chat. I'm not even gonna say N. Just put a Y, a letter Y in chat. If you went to if you went to the movies or you saw Bad Boys 2 and you said, I'm going to watch this because Gabrielle Union is in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to watch Bad Boys 2 because, listen. Let me let me out let me also ask you this. You don't necessarily have to answer. This is kind of rhetorical. How do you think the movie would have been affected if Gabrielle Union was not in Bad Boys 2? <laughs> Come on, man. Why is this dude pandering like this? Steven, they, they, they in your pockets like that, sir? I guess so. I guess so. All right. 
Natasha said the audio was a little better. Hopefully it was better better then. Scandal was not good. I give it the first season. The first season was dope, and then it just went off the rails with the the love triangle nonsense. Excuse me. Now some beauty said he must have really liked that one <laughs> Oval Office scene in Scandal. <laughs> Be humble. The the closest scene was uh the closest scene was a turn off for me. Be humble said Hollywood sent us a message with it. Hmm. Jerry Day said liberal nonsense. Be humble. Wasn't her role small and bad in that bad boy? Br- That's my point. That, sir, is my point. That, like, that's why I asked the question, how different would the movie have been if she was not in it at all? More than anything, she was, she was Mike Lowry's love interest more so than she was an agent, uh, or a DEA agent or FBI agent or whatever she was. Like, <laughs> Man, stop playing with me. Bad Boys, um, Natasha said, Bad Boys 2 is a, is a comedy, so the pay rates aren't going to be stellar regardless. Facts. Mm. Jerry Day sent a laughing emotion. Natasha only saw the original Bad Boys. You're not really missing too much with Bad Boys 2. It's it's a, it's a decent watch, um, but you're not, you're not missing a whole lot. As a matter of fact, I'm curious to know your opinion, Natasha. If you can, whenever you can, watch Bad Boys 2 and tell me how differently you think the movie would have been. <laughs> if Gabrielle Union wasn't in it at all. And then and also, this the homework assi- part two of homework assignment. How do you think Taraji P. Henson would have done in that role? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm petty. I'm petty. Um Be Humble said it would have been better. The closet scene was basically uh, our scene. Okay. Nasty Beauty said Jamie Lee Curtis, while accepting the tw- a 2023 Academy Award, claimed that she's not getting paid enough either. <sighs> Why do you keep going back then? Jamie Lee Curtis, Taraji P. Henson, anyone else that keeps going back and that keeps going back to these people that you're signing contracts with. I guess hindsight is always 2020, right? But you keep signing these contracts. And then you make the excuse of having so many different people to pay. Did you not know that when you signed up for this? Nobody told you that you're going to need an agent, that you're going to need stylists, you're going to need hair, you're going to need somebody, to, uh, a fashion coordinator, a manager. Nobody told you this? Did you not know that before you signed the contract? Because I'm sure it's not just the, the acting contract that you have to sign. I'm sure there's multiple different ones that you have to sign. And I'm sure, oh, lawyers. Sure, you, Nobody told you that you need a lawyer? How is hindsight 2020 this many times? Come on, man. J. Every Day said they want the Tom Cruise dollars. Tom Cruise helped Mission Impossible by himself. The only other person that I know in any of the Tom Cruise movies, I'm, I'm sorry, Mission Impossible movies that acted with Tom Cruise is Ving Rhames. And that wasn't until like number four or something. If I'm not mistaken. I literally only watched when I was watching Mission Impossible. And I'm just using that in particular. Because how dope Tom Cruise was in those movies. Stop playing. Name what what is one Taraji P. Henson movie that equivalates to the amount of significance that Tom Cruise had in Mission Impossible. And it doesn't have to be on the same pay scale. I'm talking about where she where you looked at her outside of hidden figures and said she killed that role. What can what can Williams say? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, man! Crazy, crazy. 
I know they were paid at least $20 million. I don't think she got one. I think that might be pushing it. She was damn near the star of the movie. This... Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. In Martin Lawrence. I know they were paid at least $20 million. I don't think she got one. Hold up. You know what? Let me, let me help let me help us all out. Let me help us all out. Let me see if I can. Let's see. I think that might be pushing it. She was damn near the star of the movie. Oh, <laughs> oh hey man, I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> We're done with that, man. We're done. He said the star of the movie. <laughs> okay. So I've already taken up too much of your, you guys' time. I didn't mean to plan on I, I didn't plan on uh, being up here this long. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking in with me. Super quick, spend a few minutes on this man, fellers. J every day. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm missing out on the chat and listening to this dude say that Gabrielle Union was a star of almost a star of Bad Boys too. <laughs> <laughs> uh jv they said better get like steve harvey and get multiple jobs big facts be humble said paula Patton is another horrible actress i don't know if i, I give her i guess you're right bro i give her like a d but it's not that be, it's not because she's bad it's just that she's had no important roles that i've seen or have even heard of Natasha Vincent said his own stuntman and director. He, oh, I'm sorry. She's talking about Tom Cruise, his own stuntman and director, along with the lead. He's getting residuals at least three ways. If they want his money, they'll have to put in his work. Big facts, big facts, Natasha. That's the beauty. J. Every day that sounds too much like, right? <laughs> oh, be humble. Said Stephen A. Smith shooting his shot. Hmm. <laughs> I lost all of my tabs, yo. Sheesh. Listen to him talk about her being a star of the movie. Made me lose all my tabs. All right. So let's go back. <clears throat> Sorry. Listen, man. Huh? Paula can't act. I guess. I guess I'll give you that. So, I don't know how many different instances we need, man. I don't know how many different instances we need to really, as men, protect ourselves. I'm sorry. I don't know how many instances we we need to prove that we need to protect ourselves in any way possible. From NDAs to prenuptial agreements, postnuptial agreements in some cases. We are under attack, man. For real, for real. Like I was watching and and okay, let me specify it this way. We are under attack by way of either more now than ever if you ask me. Removing men from the household and or feminizing men, berating men. And I wonder, so I talked before 
a way to one way that excuse me men show that they might have crossed over into 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 dealing with the naughty right everybody knows what the naughty is is tattoos and I thought about that afterwards I thought about that later the, later that day if you if you want to know what I'm talking about maybe an episode or two ago we talked about it so check it out but I think another way that men might show the, the, the barrier to entry. That's what I'll say it this way. The barrier to entry to getting involved with upper Hollywood or Hollyweird for men is embarrassment. I think I think that's a barrier to entry. Take um a long time ago, a long time I don't know how many years ago at this point. But when Steve Harvey was hosting the Miss Ama- Miss America, whatever it was, pageant, Miss Universe, whatever. There were two final contestants. And he had to read from a card, just like he does on Family Feud all the time. I'm not 100% sure I'd wager that. Yeah, I'd say at this point he was hosting Family Feud. So he reads from cards all the time. He reads these little, the questions, name something, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't hear him stumbling at all from when I watch the, I don't, I don't want to say at all. The, the overwhelming majority of the time he's reading from those cards properly without stumbling, without mixing words, whatever. And then it comes time to name the person that won the Miss America pageant. And he reads the wrong name. Mind you, this thing is televised nationally, probably internationally televised. People came out of the woodwork calling them whatever. And people use the phrase calling me every name in the book, but they use it loosely a, a lot of times calling him every single name you can imagine. You can't read. This is how black people blah, blah, blah. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we have to overuse this little... (laughs) Sorry for your ears. Sorry. But... We are under attack, man. And it seems like even... A lot of times, even if we take proper precaution in protecting ourselves, there's still... a loophole. There's still some sort of workaround that still causes us to, to, to lose in the end. So to what do I refer in this situation? This situation right here. Jonathan Majors. What? (laughs) He picked her up and put her in the car. All right, that's this is a little suspect right there.
Buddy, stop. You see Buddy stop right there? He's like, what's going on? Hold on. It looks like he just galloping like a little goat. So just from that little minute, right? Nancy Beauty said the sound effects are a perfect addition. You mean from the soundboard? You <laughs> just from that situation, man. Just from that little one minute. Uh what is it? Minute and seven seconds that I that I showed. So the situation, just in case you've been living under the rock. Jonathan Majors had a case. It was some sort of like it was a case where there was some sort of a assault that happened and apparently his girlfriend of I don't know how many years, I forget her name, I'm sorry. But Jonathan Majors she alleged that he abused her. And then you can google the the how her face looked and all that stuff. And she says, like, he, he broke her finger and, like, caused a contusion behind her ear or something like that. I'm sorry if I don't have the specific details. Do you What do you see happening? Here. It looks to me... Like he put her in the car, cool. That doesn't seem like a broken a broken finger. This is on YouTube, so don't 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 YouTube, don't come after us. Watch Buddy right here. But he's running though. He's trying to get away from her. I don't know where they are in this particular video. Tell me he don't look like he's galloping like a little goat, though. Tell me he don't, he don't look like he's galloping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, ladies... Not even looking where she's going across the street. Barely looking across the street. She's chasing him. And now I guess he ran. It looks like they ran back to where they came from. And she's out of gas. I can't breathe. Cupcake got a new Twinkie coming out. <laughs> but look at this broken finger contusion behind the ear if I'm not mistaken it was her right it, it was her right hand that was alleged supposedly broken or right middle finger or whatever That's, did she just rub her hair did she with the hand that's supposed to be broken? I don't know about you, but if my finger was, bro I'm thinking, listen, I'm thinking about major pain. I'm thinking about major pain. Any, anybody seen major pain? My feel pressure made his finger look like an L shape. To the side, not to the not not like this. To the side. Come on, man. Be humble, say he did it. Come on, man. What? Natasha said, apparently he was dating Grace Jab Grace Jabari. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Since summer 21. They stopped dating this past spring. Be humble. Come on, bro. Show some respect to the to the to the milk of magnesia. To the almond milk of magnesia. <laughs> To the almond milk of magnesia. Yes, Grace Jabari. 
Grace Jabari. But I mean, it's also alleged that they that they had it had been uh, uh, alleged again that they had been in a uh, mutually, I guess you could say, <laughs> physical relationship, whatever. And where's the proof, man? Where's the proof? Because it's allegedly, as of when he found her, this is this is a story that I heard as well. He found her in the. He came back to his uh, uh, hotel room and found her in there, all naked, and all this stuff had had happened. And he found her that way, and she came too, not even acting, uh, maybe acting, maybe serious, saying that she that he did it, but also saying that she doesn't know what happened. Come on, man. The proof is I know he did it. <laughs> Come on, be humble, man. Come on, be humble, man. You could you, you you're killing me, man. You're killing me. But no, man. I'm just saying, fellas, we really got to make sure we're protecting ourselves in every way, every corner, in every way, shape, form possible. Because in the at, in the end of in the end result, Jonathan Majors was found guilty. And he's facing up to a year in prison. I highly doubt that he's going to do that. I don't know one way or the other. It all depends on how much money is to be made, I suppose. But, man, make sure, you, make sure you're protecting yourself, man. Make sure you're protecting yourself in every way, shape, or form. Like, don't don't go in any, partic- any, any closed-off rooms with anybody. Make sure there's a woman. In- Come on, man. Make sure there's a, another, another person um, that is a witness to the conversation that transpires because literally, bro, literally you could be brought up uh, into some confusion these days, just off saying hi. A lady will spray on some perfume and say that perfume smells nice. A guy will say this, that perfume smells nice on you. Next thing you know, you in HR's office. You know what's don't get me started. Don't get me started, y'all. Don't get me started. But let's see. I don't see it look, she rubbed her hair again with the same hand that's supposed to be broken. I don't see. I don't see. She's recording. I don't know if I want to show what what happens next. Um, even though it's already on YouTube, I don't want. I want no problems. I'd rather be better safe than sorry. But yeah, it it basically shows. Oh, I guess it's not bad, but it shows her. Seventeen. Oops. It shows her getting woke up in uh in the closet with a jacket over her pulled up and she's like in the in the daze and all that. But it's just crazy, man. Make sure you're protecting yourself as best you can. Uh don't try not to, try your best to not put yourself in any any situation or any position where you can be brought up in and and uh put in the mix of some confusion off of something that you thought was you thought was a different thing or you you may have perceived a different way or just just stay away bro just stay away cuz everybody looking for a come up hold on a second all right so uh Naps and beauty said record the situation on your phone hey listen you are right you are right you don't got to be awkward and record and and do do a. As soon as, as soon as she walk in the room, you. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you're holding the phone up in a, in front of her face and all that, but hey, you know they a lot of times in these situations, and I I've seen it multiple times. When they don't know that when it. If a woman is doing something that she know can be put her in a precarious situation, like she's the the physical abuser, 
in a situation. When the, when she knows that a lot of times, and I guess it's the same with guys as well, but when she know when she doesn't know that there's a camera around or there isn't a camera around, she's acting a certain way. She's going crazy. Hitting you, charging at you, throwing stuff at you, doing all this stuff. But once you do this, whole different story. Whole different story. Be humble said he was he was walking like he know his career ended. <laughs> he was walking like it's over, man. It's over. He already knew, huh? <laughs> Be humble said, like he thinking he got to work, he got to work with Tyler. Ooh, why you doing that man like that, yo? <laughs> he said, he <laughs> he said, be humble said he walking like he thinking. I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm rude a joke. He's walking like he's thinking he got to work with Tyler Perry now. <laughs> Gotta work with Tyler Perry now. You gonna be right there with Christian Keys, huh? <laughs> right next to Christian Keys, and and he touched me. <laughs> Natasha Vincent said, "If anyone is at the point of even thinking they have to record a conversation, leave." And you know what? You are you are one hundred percent right. Right. I think this is a, a two things can be true at the same time type of thing. But it's also. If like, well, it's also along the lines of what I was saying before, if. OK, OK, perfect example, perfect example. Maul sent us a video in our in our group chat, right? And it was about Young Jeezy. You can find it on Instagram. Um, young Jeezy doing philanthropic work. Like he's giving out backpacks. You can see like a U-Haul going out and he's handing stuff to the people. Um, I think he was giving out food as well. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can find the find it real quick and, and and so you guys can see it. Or maybe you just you can just search on YouTube or Instagram. G young Jeezy or Jeezy giving backpacks away. And Maul said he was like I want to do that. I I I want to do that one day. It's coming up. I'm working on it. I forget what he said exactly, but he said I I I want to do that. And I'm like, oh, he said no cameras, no no pictures, none of that. Just just genuine philanthropic, doing stuff for the people type of work. I'm all for it. I've I've literally been in the homeless shelter before and was preparing plates for the homeless. And it felt wonderful. And I'm, I'm not even being braggadocious about it. On the flip side, I said, now he's handing, like you, you'll see in the in the video, though, that he has his arm around some kids, like holding, you know, on the run the shoulder and all that stuff. Again, people are looking for a come up. Any and everything they possibly can. What what was the case that I I can't think of it at the I can't think of it at the time right now. I think it was I think it's along with the Diddy situation when uh, some 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 people are coming out now saying that he did ABC one two three to them X amount of years ago. X amount of years ago. How can you prove that? Why are you even honestly honestly? Do you even know what you ate on uh, ate for dinner L last week? Today, last week, do you know what you ate like, for dinner, or do you got to think about it? So, how can you even prove that? I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I want I got to do the disclaimer because again, people are looking for a come up. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I'm not saying whatever. I'm just saying where's the proof and why didn't you say something when it happened? So my point is saying that Natasha, I'm not saying I disagree with you. I'm saying sometimes you just gotta you gotta record without you gotta record to protect yourself. Period. Especially men. Especially men. Because not 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 necessarily 
I okay, I'll say it this way. I think there are situations where you're not recording in a in a way that you have to leave because it can be caused it can be a bad situation. But again, it's just to so you can so you can protect yourself just in case something comes over this situation. For instance, if I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there. But I get you. I don't disagree with you, Natasha. And in and, and, and a lot of situations in what you're in what you may be thinking about, you are absolutely right. Don't worry about recording. Just leave and get yourself out of there. Matter of fact, we'll meet in the middle ground. Record yourself leaving. <laughs> Oh, sheesh. That was all that was all I had to say about that, man. Just just protect yourself, man, because this is crazy. There's no evidence that he actually he actually did something. I'm not saying he did or didn't, but there's no evidence proving that he actually did. And he's still he's out of millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. So I'm just hoping that I mean, listen, I saw him in Creed three. And if that if you if you really watch though the the entire all of the sequences of the fights, there was some points where Jonathan Majors was really putting he started really getting into I guess you could say a boxing mindset, a boxing mode. And you could tell that if he was serious, he would sweep the floor with Michael B. Jordan. So Imagine that Michael B. Jordan and training in the way that he was retra- that he was training. He had a a belt. Or I don't even know what it was, but he had something attached to his head, and the weight was attached to it at the bottom. And he was just like strengthening his neck or what? I guess I guess that is a strengthening his neck so he can take punches better. Because I've never seen that that particular exercise before. But if he was serious, he would have wrecked Michael B. Jordan. So. Imagine what he could possibly do to her if he was serious. Serious enough to lay hands on her, period. All right, man. Sheesh. So this is something. Last subject I'll 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 poach you guys with today. Democrats are desperate. They're desperate. They are so desperate to ensure that they retain the presidential office that Colorado in particular has removed Donald Trump from the ballot. I call it desperation. So read along with me while I while I check this article out. So it says uh, from Newsweek.com, Donald Trump is facing challenges to his candidacy in several states after Colorado's Supreme Court removed him from the 2024 primary ballot on Tuesday. The court's 4-3 ruling determined that Trump, the clear front runner for the GOP nomination, and it's ineligible, oh, I'm sorry, is ineligible to appear on the state's ballot because of his alleged role in the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol. His speech to his supporters that morning was followed by a violent protest in which rioters illegally entered the Capitol building in an attempt to block... This is important right here. In an attempt to block Congress from certifying President Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. To block? Mm. To block him. Okay. 
Because I, I, I seen that Joe Biden was nowhere near there. If I'm not mistaken, because I watched a lot of different footages, footages, a lot of different footage. Uh, I watched it from a, a, a lot of different angles, different recordings. I didn't see Joe Biden anywhere near there. And, and, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, please, because maybe it was they, like, the rioters being there was actually preventing him from physically going to the White House. Let's say whatever, but I'm just wondering how were they blocking him? Because you know, word I I I take words seriously as we've grown to know on this podcast. I take words seriously. So when you say block, are you were they actually blocking them, or are you just using that because it sounds good? Mm-hmm. Uh, the the court ruled Tuesday that the former president's actions violated section three of the U S constitution's 14th amendment, which bars any individual from holding federal or state office who has engaged in insurrection. Trump has sharply criticized the decision, maintaining that he did not engage in an insurrection and accused the court of election interference. Stephen Chung, a spokesperson for Trump's campaign slammed the decision in a statement on Tuesday. I'm curious. I'm curious what what you guys' thoughts are about this. I'm really curious. Do you do you do you think it's an act of desperation because they know that Trump is leading the the polls like a, a landslide, landslide, like he like not even close. From from what I've seen, um, but it says. He said, unsurprisingly, that all Democrat appointed Colorado, Colorado Supreme Court. Has ruled against President Trump supporting the Soros funded left wing groups scheme to interfere in an election on behalf of crooked Joe Biden by removing Trump's name. That is a run on sentence. If I'm what? Um, in an election on behalf of crooked Joe Biden by removing President Trump's name from the ballot and eliminating the rights of Colorado voters to vote for the candidate of their choice, Chung said in a statement. I think that is factual. I think that is factual. I think that that's not right. To completely remove... That's that's the conundrum, though. That's the conundrum. One, and I personally have not read it myself, but one, they're saying the Constitution is saying the a person cannot run for presidency if they've incited an insurrection. On the other side, you're move, you're also abandoning or or taking people's constitutional right from them. By the in, in in removing Trump from the ballot entirely, but I guess it's just Trump, so there's still a Republican possibility, right? That's the tough part. That's the tough part because you're you're removing you're removing their 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 right to vote specifically for Trump, but you're not removing their right to vote Republican if they if they choose to. Hmm, that's interesting. So uh, this is also Newsweek um, on this Newsweek.com had a list of other states, it says, that are also advocating for the removal of Trump from the ballot. Colorado, as we know, Chunk said the Trump campaign will appeal to the state's decision, meaning the case is expected to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. Legal experts previously told Newsweek the Supreme Court may overturn the Colorado ruling given the composition of the high court. The court has six Republican justices, three of whom are appointed by Trump and three Democrats. That seems like it'll be a great conversation. Arizona. 
Trump has faced a challenge in a crucial swing of Arizona filed by Republican presidential candidate John Castro. Mm. But U.S. District Judge Douglas Reyes ruled earlier this month that the challenge has no standing because Castro is not genuinely competing with Trump for votes in the GOP primary. Castro has filed other legal challenges to Trump's candidacy across the country, but his presidential campaign has not gained traction. California. California. I'm in the city. Naps in beauty. <laughs> now, as a beauty, the citizens are voicing their opinions. I haven't heard. What have you heard? I haven't heard. I mean, I think I've heard saying that's not right. But if I'm not mistaken, Colorado is a blue state. Do you think, that's the beauty, I'm asking. I'm asking you in particular. Do you think this is a move because they're, the Democrats are scared of losing? Do you think that they are only moving this far because they see in their state, in, in Colorado, that the Democrats are losing the polls? And it's the genuine question because I don't know. This is literally coming to me right now. Because if the, the, the Colorado is also getting hit with the migrant crisis as well. If I, I believe so. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But that's, that's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And it's only, I think it's only getting worse. It's only going to get worse. Oh, yes. This is it. And another and another reason why. Let me pull this up for you guys. Relating to this subject about them being desperate. Let me find it. I just. Here we go. Because. Cookie. <laughs> what you talking about? Cultivate your roots. Are you, you catching up in the stream? You went and had some Christmas, some Christmas dinner. And I had I had my link. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Tell me if this sounds like desperation to you guys. Biden has canceled about one hundred and thirty two billion dollars of student loans despite Supreme Court ruling. Here's how. And this is according to the Wall Street Journal. Oh my goodness. Wall Street Journal. Let's see. Let's see here. Take it down. So that was okay. I read that, and desperation really it really popped up in my mind because what. What's next year? What's coming up next year, guys? What is coming up next year? I 
how how many how long will it take or how many different how many different times do we need to get or do people whoever this applies to how many different times do people need to have how many times do people need to be the horse that has the carrot dangling in front of his face trying to catch it How many times do he needs, does he, will we let him do, will people let him say exactly what it is that they want to hear and they just take it that way? People hear student loan forgiveness. This amount of student loans will be forgiven. Automatically think, oh yeah, I want my student loans to be forgiven. Again, well, like we said earlier, like Jay Every Day said, Drake said in the, earlier in the, in the chat. You knew what you signed up for. You knew what you signed up for. According to nerdwallet.com, Joe Biden's student loans, what he's done for borrowers, student loans and college, I'm sorry, students and colleges. St student debt was a central theme for president, theme in President Joe Biden's election campaign. And while his landmark proposal to cancel up to 20000 per borrower was struck down in June, several other initiatives remain. Why? Why? Guys, why? Why are we doing so? Why are we? Do we not have enough going on? Cultivate your roots. Don't we have enough going on? We are fighting, somebody pointed out to me, and they made more, I heard two, but they, they pointed out a third one. And I was like, that, that actually makes sense. There's three wars going on. Because war doesn't look like necessarily what we're seeing overseas right now, right? We're, we're participating in three. Ukraine, the one that we know is going on, I don't want to say too much, I don't I don't know how sensitive YouTube is about it. Even though we've already talked about it before. And the migrant crisis. Somebody pointed out that the migrant crisis is a civil war. Don't or Haven't we given enough money out? When will we have that, have that money? When will Joe Biden say, you know what? We need to focus all these efforts, all of these efforts that we've been giving out outside of people that are closely related to us, that are closely connected to us. We need to focus, give that money back to the American, the American people. We need to dedicate that money back to the American economy. We already have a homelessness issue that exists in America. That existed before the migrant situation happened. That existed before the Ukraine-Russia war happened. I'm not saying that that's not important. I'm not saying that the people don't need funded. I'm not saying that people aren't dying. I'm not saying that people don't need help. But at what point do we just say, you know what? We need to give that money. We need to focus this. Do you not realize student loan people do you not realize that when he says okay imagine imagine a ship right a giant ship let's just say as the titanic right do you not realize that when this money goes out, these taxpayer dollars go out. It's like throwing. It's like throwing whatever amount of weight that you can imagine, adding it on to the ship. Student loan forgiveness. 
all right, everybody's forgiven. So that that's building up a pile of mess that is eventually going to have to be dealt with. You're going to eventually the way that on this, that you throw on this ship from just constantly forgiving out, forgiving dad and passing out money. Eventually the ship is going to going to be, it's going to be too heavy to, to continue to float and it's going to sink. I hope I'm painting this in a way that makes sense because I, again, I, I'm, I'm, I try to stay informed as much as I, as much as I can. But I don't think people are really looking at, I'm, I'm, I like to explain, I'm the kind of person, like, I need you to really explain this, like, A, B, C, one, two, three. If you're trying to explain something, I'm talking step by step by step. And when you explain a step, sometimes I need to stop you and explain the step that we're at. Do you not realize that when they say student loan forgiveness, we're going to give this money to awards and all that stuff, it's just creating a bigger problem that's going to cause prices of stuff to go up anyway. So, okay, your student loans may be forgiven, but it costs more for you to live. Come on, man. Uh, Natasha said, 132 billion is less than half percent of the U.S. debt, but would give a bigger effect on Biden's, Biden's voters' settle, also sentiment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm struggling over this. Um, 132 billion is less than half a percent of the U.S. debt. But, <sighs> U.S. debt. Hold up. I, I was I was trying to save that. You brought it up. I'm, I was trying to save that. I'm, I'm going to pull it up. Um, I'll read this again. 132 billion is less than half a percent of the U.S. debt, but will have a bigger effect on Biden's voters' sentiment polling results. But I'm just minding my business up here in Canada. <laughs> you got the smoke for us, Natasha? <laughs> You got all the smoke for us. Okay. All right. Okay. But no, yeah, you're, you're right. And you know what? You know what? Let me see. Let me, let me pull this up. I'm going to, I'm going to put this article that I just, that I just found. Shoot. Let's do this. Okay. Shout out to my guy, Razik. I've seen this before. I've seen this before. But I've never... It was like way, 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 way back in school. But Razik, we were we were talking about you know we have a stock chat, or yeah we have a stock chat in the bag chasers, and me and him have been talking just having conversations and stuff, and he said go to Google right now, all right, type in U.S. debt calculator, all right, click the first link, all right I see it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even click it. This number right here. Look at that. Debt. That's 33. Trillion dollars. And counting, and counting rapidly. Debt per citizen, $100,000. $101,000. Debt per, now, this, this is the number that, that, that really bothered me right here. So it says debt per citizen, right? But then... Not everybody in in the U. We have a homelessness crisis in the U.S., right? So the people that work, that pay taxes, 
$260,000 per taxpayer. Mm-hmm. Shame. What, they, what, 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 what were they saying when Cersei was walking down the, the whatever, the courtyard? Shame. Shame. And you know what? Let's let's do it. So let's do it this way. We saw that number, right? Maybe, maybe my math is off. No, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm done. I'm done. I don't even want to think about it anymore. I don't want to think about it anymore. So thank you guys so much for kicking it with me. This ended up being a two hour stream. Sheesh. Uh Natasha. Thank you for stopping by. Be humble. Thank you for stopping by. Naps and Beauty, greatly appreciate you being here. Jay Everyday, Ma, greatly appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for anyone else in the crowd. Listen, man. Now is the time. Now is the time to get out of your own way from hindering yourself from success. The average person isn't successful because I would say, I want to say the average, but a lot of people aren't as successful or aren't in the position where they see themselves because they just haven't, listen, one thing that I learned in Atomic Habits, this is what, this is really what I really wanted to say. James Clear, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was James Clear that was the author. I just played it and listened to it and tried to take mental notes. But like I said last time, he said, your, your, the failure that you experience isn't because you're a failure. It's just you have unsuccessful habits. You have unfruitful habits. So, for instance, if you're not a morning person, but you find that you need to get up in the morning, a lot of times setting an alarm, setting an alarm isn't enough for you to get up. You have to think of a step-by-step process. Think of your, your going to sleep and waking up process step-by-step step and figure out how you can change those things. Because some people think that if you have to be at work at 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll set an alarm for 8 o'clock, and then I'll just go to sleep whenever I go to sleep. Obviously, you need a sleep pattern. Obviously, you need to, to make sure that you get enough sleep to make sure when you wake up, you'll, you'll feel rested. But no, it's not just that. It's that, okay, maybe you need to set your alarm for 730 to make sure that you're actually out of bed. Because a lot of us, I'm guilty of this a lot of times, wake up, we check our phone, and then for we just click that one wrong button. And now, now we're down, now we're going down the the rabbit hole of searching and checking every other per, portion of our phone. And then after we're done with all that stuff, we'll check it one more time. And then we'll get up. So a lot of people aren't successful, not because they, whatever they're, whatever they're currently doing is a bad thing or is it, it isn't meant for them to do. It's just that a lot of times we're in our own way of success. Get out of your way, man. Get out of your way. Go check out the No Absolutes podcast with Will Hill. Great. Will is a great dude, man. Check out check out his uh, podcast, No Absolutes. This has been another rendition of the No Key Podcast, where your crown, build your legacy kings. I'm your man, Spaces. Maul couldn't be here. Jay Everyday couldn't be here. Meeting adjournment.